In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw inside a new plumbing system using MC4C 2013. As a first step of the process, we need to add a new level to the building. So I access the Building Level Manager window, I click New to add a new level, I enter the description Main in this case. Then I can set the internal net height to 8 feet for instance, and then I have to select the structure of the floor and of the ceiling. I can pick this structure directly from the database of the program, and I select 4 inch slab as a floor and ceiling gypsum joist r 11 plywood as a ceiling. I can click apply and then OK to close this window and move forward. Once the information of the level has been set, I can associate an external reference to the level. As external reference, I can use DWF or DWG file or raster images. In this case, I'm going to associate a DWG file. So I click on Insert XREF, I select the DWG file I want to use, then I click Open. In this window, I'm not going to change any other information than the insertion point that will be specified later. So I'm going to click to place the drawing in the drawing area, and then I zoom all to center the drawing on the screen. Let's move forward and add a new plumbing system. I enable the plumbing system command tab, I click on the pipe project, and once the pipe project manager window appears on the screen, I click new to add a new pipe project. I enter the description, main line, and as a system type I select plumbing. Then I'm going to set the type of fluid for the hot and the cold line. I just want to point this out. The program uses two different properties of the fluid to calculate the pressure drop to the pipes. I click OK and then in the manager window I can set two different curves to convert the fixture units to GPM. I'm going to use IPC flush valves for flush valves fixtures and flush tanks for flush tanks fixtures. And then for the main pipes I'm going to use the predominant fixture now if I enable the system tab in the project navigator, you can see that the program created the main line project. Now that the pipe project is set, I'm going to open the plumbing feature database manager to select from the preloaded database all the units that I'm going to use in this project. For example, I can select all IPC fixture units. I bring them in project and they will be available to the current project. This window contains all the main information about fixture units and the residual pressure that are needed to correctly size a plumbing system. We can start drawing the fixture units now. I have to run the dedicated command in the sidebar I have to select the fixture unit I want to draw. So let's scroll the list down and I select the water closet. I have to zoom in the area where I want to place the connection block and I place it. Two different clicks are required. The first click places the block, the second click sets the rotation angle. I have to repeat the same procedure for all water closet. Let's place the third one over here. You can turn the labels on or off at convenience. And once everything has been drawn, this is the result. If we want to see what we have drawn so far, we can turn the external reference off. And you see that on the drawing there are only the blocks that we just added. Let's start drawing the distribution pipe. I click pipe command 
and in the sidebar I can select the type of pipe I want to use I can also set the diameter if I want to let's select half inch for instance and then the most important thing I have to set the elevation of the pipe to do that first of all I set the absolute coordinate and then I enter 8 feet so the pipe will be placed 8 feet from the ground now let's assume that the line comes in from the stairwell we are drawing on the ceiling of this main level 8 feet from the ground so I can draw the cold line so up here this is the main distribution pipe then I can stop drawing and I can add also the hot line I can decide 5 inches from the cold line and then I draw it the hot line let's draw now the internal pipe distribution before doing that we are going to add a manifold or a multiport to the cold line so we can select a multiport from our database we can set in the sidebar a number of exits and then we can directly snap on the cold pipe let's adjust the number of exits to the project requirement so we need six exits in this case then we can draw the multiport and once the multiport have been set on the pipe I can run the pipe command once again to draw the pipe from the manifold or multiport to the fixture unit so to the lavatory in this case once I get close to the fixture unit I use the automatic connection command so I'll let the program draw the last part of the pipe I repeat the same command pipe and I do exactly the same things I did for the first pipe so once again right click select connect to the terminal to make the program draw automatically the last part of the pipe distribution it is also possible once you have uh, drawn the main pipe to connect two different fixtures to the same pipe let me give an example in this case I connect the first lavatory and then using the automatic connection I connect also the other lavatory to the same pipe so if I switch to an isometric view this is what has been drawn so far so two lavatories connected to the same pipe and two lavatories with one dedicated pipe each let's go back to the top view and complete the drawing now I'm going to show you another way to make connection another possibility that the program gives you so let me draw another cold line pipe and I'll draw first the branch for the toilets and then another branch to the lavatories of the man restroom now we are going to connect all toilets to the same main pipe so I'll stretch the main pipe and then I start connecting all toilets using the automatic connection command so first I select the connection block and then I select the pipe and the program makes the connection automatically I can connect also the toilet on the other side and then I delete the last part of the pipe because it's not going to be connected to any other fixture I can use the automatic connection command also for intermediate connections as I'm doing right now so you can use the same command to complete the entire drawing and this is the result that we get now that the drawing is complete 
we can size the system. Run the sizing command and select the main pipe. Let's start from the call the line. As soon as you click on the pipe, the program shows you the window where the user can set the maximum pressure drop per 100 foot, the maximum water velocity through the pipe, main and branches, and the program is going to size the pipe in order to meet these requirements. It is also possible to force the size of, of the pipe to the same as the fixture if you want to. When all parameters have been set, you can run the calculation and the program shows you a window with the information of the results. GPM a total pressure drop. It is also possible to change the unit of measure if you want to. You can access the unit of measure manager window and for instance let's switch the total pressure from feet of water to PSI. So I select the variable called pipe pressure loss and I switch the unit of measure. I can also set a different accuracy, so the number of digits after the point. If I rerun the calculation, I see that the program shows me now the total pressure drop as a PSI. Let's size now the hotline. So I do exactly the same things I did before. I will run the calculation and the program shows me the results, total GPM and total pressure drop. As last part of this video, let me show you how to draw a recirculating line using the multiport component to create the loop hotline recirculating line. I'm going to draw the first connection to the recirculating line on the boiler sides. You have to use the dedicated command. So I place first the multiport, then I stretch the hot pipe a little bit back in order to make the connection and I'll move the multiport and connect it to the hot line. Make sure that the flux that identifies the direction of the water is consistent with the rest of the distribution. Now to draw the main pipe I have to reverse the flux because I'm drawing from the multiple back to the boiler and once I've done I can select also a different size of pipe or I can let the program size it for me. Anyways if I want to change the size of the pipe I can do it from the sidebar. So select the pipe in the extended data tab you can set a different diameter. Let's draw the multiport now at the recirculation remote point. So let me go up to the ladies restroom and over here I'm going to draw the multiport and connect the hotline to the recirculating line. To draw this multiport I have to use a different command than the one I used before. As you can see the, the arrows that highlights the flux is once again consistent with the rest of the network. Then I move the multiport and connect it to the main line and then with another pipe I connect the rest of the network. So the hotline is still correctly working. Now let's draw the recirculating line. So I run the draw pipe command. I select recirculation in the sidebar. I can use half inch pipe and then I draw a pipe as I did for the other pipes before. Let's go up to the recirculating point and get connected to the multiport. So we created an internal loop. Through the dedicated command we can run the recirculating. At this point we can make the sizing because there is no assembly used in this project.
anyways you set the delta t system delta t and the average loss of the pipe in the program calculates and sizes the recirculating line using multiport <laughs>